What's going on everyone, it's your host JTV coming back to you with another video here and today I'm going to be telling you guys why you should not be buying this go. piece of trash video game. Please save your money. Go so buy your mom some flowers, go buy a homeless person some food, go buy yourself some drugs. You'll probably end up killing less brain why cells than like playing this game. Frames. This is my first game on by the way, this gameplay in the background. Probably I'm good. using the default sniper here. And if you didn't hear what I just said, I said I like that there's red dots on the mini-map and that we have a big-ass compass. You see the second shot here? I line up the red dot on the compass to get him. It's a skill I developed okay. playing 2019 in a game that okay. didn't have red dots on the mini-map. Ooh, go Tyler! I'm gonna hit a really slow split okay. quad times too, hit marker and die. So I'm thinking first game on, not too bad, pretty fun, pretty decent. Second game on, get thrown into a lobby where I'm at 80 ping, I barely get 8 kills and our team gets absolutely destroyed 0 and 200 and our teammates backing out because just sweaty as fuck. I would say you can't make this shit up but you literally can since we've been dealing with it for the past 4 fucking years. Now the core gameplay is fine, I would even say the movement and the gunplay are actually good. Definitely a step up from the last COD. And a lot of the things people are saying about red dots being back on the minimap, ninja coming back as a perk instead of a field upgrade, and a slower time to kill leads to faster paced gameplay. These are all great things, but at the end of the day, I could give a fuck about any of it if I can't even enjoy it for what it is because of the matchmaking system. This strict skill-based matchmaking system all started with Modern Warfare 2019. And I was actually a fan of that game. Coming from BO4 to Modern Warfare 2019, Especially as a sniper, I thought MW 2019 was a huge upgrade compared to BO4. BO4 was just a game with a lot more bullshit than MW 2019. And in the beginning of 2019, I was saying this is a top 5 COD for sure. I was set on that until about halfway through the year and realized how bad skill based matchmaking actually was. I remember watching some random video on Twitter, it was on Arklov Peak, and he was literally running circles around everybody in the lobby that's when i realized we are not playing the same game your performance is basically predetermined by the lobby which gives you no incentive to get better because anytime you perform well you get punished by putting it into a sweatier lobby and it kind of defeats the whole purpose of call of duty call of duty is not a game that you need to be good to do good you can easily camp in the corner like a shitter for streaks and get an easy gameplay just like that is not being good at the game that's just camping and playing like a bitch and score streaks in general don't even make sense with skill based matchmaking. Like a nuke streak, how is anyone supposed to get a nuke when everyone's supposed to be at equal level? Call of Duty is a game of dominance. Call of Duty is supposed to be fuck? a game that rewards people who are dominating, hence kill streaks. Another reason why everybody hated death streaks back in the original MW3. And can we just talk about the name of the game for a second too? Like, how are we as a community letting this slide for the third time now? We didn't like the name Modern Warfare back in 2019, but we let it slide because we're like, okay, we'll call this game Modern Warfare and continue calling the original Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, just continue calling that COD 4, which was already what most people called it anyways. Then comes the next one, Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2, which is nothing like the original Modern Warfare 2. And everyone hates the name, but continues to call it MW2 anyways. And it gets really confusing going on Twitter and seeing people talk about MW2, and I actually don't know what game they're talking about since too many people mistaken MWII for MW2. Now, we're going to have to deal with the same confusion, but even worse with this new COD, Modern Warfare I, 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 I can't take this anymore. I'm done. I gave up on COD with the release of Cold War. I didn't even want to buy Vanguard after playing the beta, but... My friends bought it for me on Xbox just to play with them on release. I had the original Xbox One, so the game ran horribly on there. This game looks beautiful on Xbox One, dude. At the time, I just finished building my PC, so I ended up buying the game on PC. The difference from playing on what feels like less than 60 FPS on Xbox One to 150 plus FPS on PC was amazing and actually made the game feel pretty good. But SBMM was still overwhelming in that game and made it unenjoyable. But now I had two accounts, so what I ended up doing was using my Xbox account to two box, and that made the experience that much better. 
Now, I'm able to consistently stop on noobs and actually enjoy the game without worrying too much about how my performance each game will impact the next game. I remember tweeting out that now that I'm 2-boxing and playing on PC, I now understand how people enjoyed Cold War. Manipulating the matchmaking system to your advantage is way more fun than just dealing with it like a normal player. But is this really what we gotta do to have fun in the game? Well, a lot of people are saying yes, this is what we gotta do. I played the Modern Warfare 2 beta but didn't buy the game because SBMM ruined it, but I know a lot of people who went to that game planning on reverse boosting and two boxing and just doing what they can to enjoy it. I'm not mad at people for manipulating the evil BS system just so they can enjoy the game, but I am mad at people who are against SBMM but still buy the game and even worse reward the game by buying a second copy just to two box. Like there are people paying $140 and even more if you buy the Vault Edition, which I should also mention was pay to win in the beta, so it won't surprise me if after the game releases they start implementing pay to win bundles, having gear that you couldn't normally earn in game. In the new Modern Warfare 3 now, I'm sure this has gotta be a beta thing, but they don't allow you to pick your game mode. And yes, I did try to reverse boost for the last day of the beta, and it made a difference. But not as much as I was expecting. I believe SBMM is mainly based on score per minute, and also depends on the game mode. Because while I was reverse boosting, it seemed that my TDM lobbies were always low levels, while on Hardpoint and Dom, there was a handful of max levels in each lobby. So this means that if the game released this way, where you couldn't pick your own game mode, then it would be much harder or just take longer to reverse boost. So either Activision was being retarded and didn't allow us to choose as a game mode or maybe just maybe activision is aware of reverse boosters and two boxers that they designed the game this way so that you have more of a reason to buy a second copy in two box instead of just reverse boosting for free sounds like a conspiracy theory but it makes sense and i think the moral line for activision is set so low I wouldn't put this past them. Let's not forget about the, all the immoral behavior that's happened within Activision. Let's not forget about Activision's sexual assault case and apparently the harassment in the workplace was so bad that it led to a woman taking her own life. Let's not forget about Activision shutting down SM2. Let's not forget about Activision removing Nick Merck's skin just because he said to leave the children alone. Let's not forget about Activision originally promising the game for free and part of the two year cycle of MWII. But it's like we forgot all that and the COD cycles back in full force all over again. I've been watching a lot of video reviews on the game and you really just can't make an honest review on the game without talking about skill based matchmaking. And the trailer of the game just felt like they were showcasing all the potential bundles you could buy upon release. Here's a clip from Sour that shows what I mean. How it just alternated between nostalgia bait and some kind of cosmetic thing. Oh my god, remember Eminem's song? Remember these maps? Oh, cool skins! Oh, chainmail thing! Remember High Rise? Oh, skins! Well, cool knife finishing move! Remember Harriers and EMPs? Remember Rust? Oh, comic book camo? Comic book effects? Cool bundle! Remember when they shut down SM2 and people say they'd never play another game for real this time? Oh wait, sorry, we forgot about that. Cool finishing moves! Buy them! Some content not available at launch! May require additional purchase! Yeah, the first time I watched that, I thought it was so funny. Shout out to Sour too. I'll put the link to his full video in the description. It's a great vid I'd recommend if you interested in these types of rants. Another couple I have to showcase is Ninja's clip perfectly accurately describing the COD community. I'm just gonna show the full clip because people, especially COD players, need to hear this message. The funny thing is, is you need me. Need me to save you from your trash Call of Duty streams, dude. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm actually so excited to play next COD. <laughs> yeah, dude, they're doing it. Hey, hey, they're doing everything right, bro. They're doing everything right this time, dude. You just gotta stop listening to, like... Dude, they're doing everything right, bro. They're listening to the community this time, dude. You gotta stop listening to the people that are, like, hard copium. Dude, I'm telling you, bro. Uh, dude, dude, I'm telling you, bro. Brand new COD. This is the one, bro. They know what they're doing, man. They've learned from their mistakes. Bro. Ready? Ready? Uh, hey. This is this is just a guess. This is just a guess. I could be completely wrong. Okay. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the new COD is going to be riddled with glitches and cheaters when it's when it launches and it'll take them months to even fix one issue. But guess what? The gunplay is still going to be good and people are gonna be jizzing over the mobility that you disgusting, mentally abused, like, players are gonna fall for it. And you're gonna keep playing it and keep playing it and be like, dude, if, if they just gotta fix one or two of these glitches, man.
And then they're gonna come up with some more Attack on Titan skins. You guys are gonna cream your pants over those. Keep playing the game. Right? Eight months are gonna go by. Viewership is gonna be dead. You guys are gonna be sitting here playing any other game under the sun, right? Because, and hold on, I'm not done, I'm not done, I'm not done, right? And then guess what, dude? The trailer's coming out for the next one. Bro, this is it, dude. I'm telling you, have you seen the trailer? Dude, this trailer's so good, dude. I swear they know what they're doing, bro. They've learned from their mistakes, bro. I'm fucking so pumped for this new COD. Am I, did I miss anything, chat? No. But seriously though, how have we gotten so uh, down bad as a community to bad. allow a game like MWIII to happen? This game is actually just straight up disrespectful. Don't get me wrong, the original Mario for 2 was not a perfect game either. But the game was groundbreaking and innovative and you could tell the game was designed for player enjoyability rather than just a cash grab. This game is by far the laziest COD and they can't even get gun logos right. Yet they're selling the game at a full $70 just because they can. The game has zero new maps and of course, depending on the lobby, can often play worse than the original maps because the spawns are god awful. What happens to the community man? We're supposed to be all in this together. What happened to the community I remember? The community that screamed at Activision for boost jumping cards and continuously begging for hashtag boots on the ground. Then all of a sudden things change and we get MWR. I know there's enough players against skill based matchmaking to make a difference if we tried, but for some reason it seems that nobody gives a fuck. I really want to say don't hate the player, hate the game, but after how many years am I going to be saying that? Because there's too many people who just give in and just think we can't make a difference, which is part of the problem. This is going to sound extreme. Dream, but as far as I'm concerned, if you're against skill based matchmaking and still buying the game, then you're part of the problem. Alright, this video is already longer than I expected, so it's time to start wrapping things up. Originally, I was going to go into EOMM, which stands for Engagement Optimized Matchmaking, and talk more about that and why this insane system is so prevalent when the majority of people seem to be against it. I was going to go into detail about it, but it could be a whole other video on its own. So, in conclusion, overall, SBMM, or EOMM, is an evil, manipulative system that is disguised to be catering to casuals, but really is only implemented to sell bundles and make money. Money. It's literally within Activision's patent on SBMM to pair a player with skins against players without skins to influence them to buy said skin. This is the only reason I stopped buying Call of Duty. Last year there were rumors that SBMM would be turned down and the developers even said that they would remove lobby disbandment. And I remember saying I wouldn't buy the game unless they remove lobby disbandment. But of course, they lied and didn't do shit. They lied about a lot of things this year and will continue to lie because they truly give no fucks. They will continue to screw us over as long as we keep buying into their garbage. Alright, I think that's that's it for this vid. I only said about half the things that I'm thinking about for this topic, so I could easily make a part two to this. So leave a like if you guys would want to see that. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What's your experience with skill based matchmaking in Call of Duty? Are you as mad as I am about these issues? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.